may issued arrest warrant for absent Prince Ibrahim Sanya. The Jane Commission set up to investigate the financial dealings of the former president, family, and close associate may issue an arrest warrant for Prince Ibrahim Sanyang, the managing director of the Royal Africa Holding Company Limited, if he failed to honor the summon notice issued to him by the inquiry, the Standard newspaper has been reliably informed. According to Standard, Mr. Sanyang is believed he's been summoned in connection with eight companies which he is managing in the country. And the companies are the Royal Africa Capital Holding Limited, Africa Financial Services and the Bureau of the Chance Limited, Africa Airways, Cora Media Broadcasting Corporation Limited, Atlantic Politician Company Limited, Palm Grove Africa Development Corporation Limited, and Royal Africa Security Brokerage Limited and Africa Insurance Company. Police probe alle Police probe alleged assault on iAfrica TV journalist. The professional standard unit of the Gambia Police Force on Wednesday opened an investigation into the case of an iAfrica TV cameraman who was assaulted by a paramilitary officer while covering the, pro the meeting of teachers who are on a sit-down strike. The GPU issued a statement asking the Gambia Police Force to thoroughly investigate the matter. And now the Gambia Police Force has informed us that they have launched an investigation into the matter. GF suits against GFF stroke on out. That is the, the current va vacation George Ibrahim Jaite yesterday stroke out the substantive shoot filed by Ablai Jai, Keba Sise, Mariam Jobate, Musake Juara, Jawara Rada Esa Jalo against Dudu Juf, Lamin Kababajo, and the Gambia Football Federation and ordered them to pay the sum of $100,000 to Lyman Kababajo and Co. The High Court judge decision came following the defendant counsel Ablai Fatih's application for the said shoot to be struck out with substantive cost of one the diligent prosecution by plaintiff and their counsel who have been absent from the court ruling. And the important renovate Ozone Bay, $6.5 million. Ablai Sen trial face setback like it was on the standard newspaper and on the voice newspapers Cedia Jada condemns poor prison condition that is Honorable Cedia Jada the National Assembly member for Woolley West constituency condemn and frown what he call poor prison conditions at mile two central prison prisons rather which he needs which he said needs to be addressed by the authorities no country can solve its challenges in isolation President Barrow said that at the United Nations General Assembly and police also or police open investigation into the alleged I Africa journalist assault. You may know a journalist, a cameraman was assaulted while covering the demonstrators meeting in Abuko and teachers for change met Vice President Oseno Dabo. That story was right here yesterday. And they're also reporting the police open investigation into the assault of I Africa journalist. That's all we have for you on the papers today. But um, we also received a, uh, a press release from the British Embassy that the Prince of Wales, Charles, and the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, will visit the Gambia, Ghana, and Nigeria from 31st of October to the 8th of November 2018. Their Royal Highness visit, which is at, at the request on behalf of the British government, will celebrate the UK dynamic forward-looking partnership with those Commonwealth nations mm -hmm. on the range of shared priorities. The visit will highlight the themes in the relations, including the in importance of our Commonwealth ties, youth opportunities, and the environment and sustainable development, business entrepreneurship, and corporate social responsibility, women and girl, literacy, defense, cooperation, and religious and cultural diversity. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall will begin their tour in the Gambia on the 31st of October 2018. And this visit will celebrate the Gambia's re-entry into the Commonwealth in February this year. The Royal Highness will be welcomed to the country by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Adama Baru, at a ceremony in Makati Square in the capital city of Banjo. And uh, another press release from the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs as uh, the government of the Gambia, this is presently signed by the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Mam Borenjai, and it reads, the government of the Gambia, through the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, 
we so take the opportunity to inform the all ministries, departments, agencies that are, that that there would be a temporal ban on all government funded trips ex except for those essential statutory meeting with effective 1st of October 2018 for, their, for the rest of the fiscal year 2018. The, this is necessitated by the overall physical slippage on the travel and to and so expenses are within the overall travel expenditure ceiling of 2018 budget as approved by the National Assembly. The measure is needed to free up the spending for social services such as education, health, and to endanger economic and growth and microeconomic sustainable stability. This press release signed by the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Mam Burenjai, today. And uh, we also had a send our reporters out today to ask people about their opinion on the ongoing strikes, uh, which was started by the teachers on the 24th of October, 20, September rather, 2018. The teachers embark on a sit-down strike, demanding laying down conditions that those conditions should be met before they go back to classrooms. So let's take a listen to the Vox Pop from the street of Serekunda. On the Sukuta Jabang Road, you can buy a finished two or three bedroom house or service plots accompanied with a free fence and gate. At Dalaba Housing Estate, you get to enjoy bituminized roads, gated and fenced properties, solar street lights, water reticulation, public amenities, 1,500 fruit trees aligned in streets and many more. Make a 40% down payment today and spread balance conveniently for 10 years with GD Bank, Echo Bank and Trust Bank. It's very difficult to intimidate the teachers. You know, you cannot just intimidate the teachers like that. The only thing that um, uh, the government should do, I believe, like, is, is to create a dialogue. Okay, um, uh, let them not underrate the teachers, okay, because they um, uh, contribute immensely towards the nation development. So it's like it's very important um, to create a dialogue between the teachers and the government, um, if possible the ministry, okay, of basic and secondary education. Uh, let them sit down and have a dialogue so that they can solve the problem, because it's not, it's not helping the country. Um, the teachers should demand for a better pay because I'm... Um, Without the teachers, we will not have doctors and lawyers and other people. And the teachers, and they are paying lawyers like big money and the people that are working in the hospital, why is they are not giving the teachers a good pay? So I think that the teachers should, yes, demand for a good pay because from them, without the teachers, we will not have all those big people, the accountants, and they are having, and all those people are having a good pay. So from my own point of view, I think that teachers should be paid a good amount of money. I, I totally disagree with them because the way, the way they are doing things is not, it's not like this. Because uh, anything has a solution. They should come and, and dialogue and have understanding each other. We, we all know that their salary is very small, yes, uh, compared to other, other countries. Because teachers are very important. Because teachers are the ones who educate journalists like me, uh, pre president, doctors, lawyers. So they should, they should, they should definitely try and understand and dialogue and come to one, 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 one table and solve the problem. But sitting at home, saying that you are not going to, uh, you are not going to teach. So it's going to disturb the country because right now so many students, students are sitting at home, so they are not going to school, and it will affect them a lot. So for me, I do not definitely agree what they are doing. Yes, we are in New Gambia. Yeah, but you not just jump one day. You say that yeah, pam, we are going to strike. We are not going to. So but those days, they are not doing that. We all fight for this democracy, but it shouldn't be like this. For for me, I totally disagree with them. The way they are doing things, it's not it's not correct. I would advise them to go back if they love the students because I think every teacher wants to see their students successful at the end of the day. They want to see their students be big people in the nation and uh, build our nation forward. Replace your 3G SIM card today for the real official 4G SIM and receive one gigabyte of internet data for free. Well, that is a report prepared by our reporter on the ongoing strike by teachers different opinions there. In the studios here I have with me our Sise, an activist who has been recently campaigning you know, asking the First Lady of the Republic, Fatou Barbaro, to bring back the money that was deposited in his account. Our Hi, welcome. Omar. Thank you. We have, we have been busy on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Our uh, Fatou Konole. Mm -hmm. Why that campaign? 
Um, Fatou Babaro being the uh, mother of the nation and the first lady of the Republic of the Gambia uh, said an amount of money has been deposited in, in her account which they didn't even know. They cannot even tell us where the money came from. They just told us that an amount has been deposited in their account. How the money came to them, they don't know. And this money has been withdrawn by her and her auntie. And until today, they cannot tell us how this money has been spent. So it, as a Gambian... Yes. Yeah, you mean okay as a Gambian as a Gambian as a Gambian lady who is born in the in the provinces this money I think should have a little bit of impact on our Gambian women but none of this is happening they've just went with the money and it's just like that nobody is talking about it but they, 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 they said they have launched uh, an investigation investigation into the matter launching so. an investigation is one thing but when is this investigation ending has okay they've not given have they given us any timeline I understand that you you are on a serious campaign. It's not only limited on Facebook because you also be preparing on pre printing T-shirts. Yes, I am. So what will be the on, on what will be on these T-shirts and on who this, will be wearing these T-shirts? On these T-shirts, it will be written Fatu Babaro Kodole, our 30, 30, 35 million dollars. And on these T-shirts, we are not marching on the streets. We are not organizing any demonstrations. What I will be doing with this T-shirt is I'll be distributing it to Gambians to wear. So that everyone would know that Fatou Barbaro has collected a 35 million uh, dollars uh, from Gambians, and we, we, he, he still cannot tell us where this money has been taken to. What is he doing with the money? With so, as the first lady, everything that she does at least should have impact on our Gambia, on our Gambian women, at least. Now, let me ask you: who, One may ask, who assigned you to do this? No, no one um, assigned me. I'm doing it on my own. Now, you said you, nobody assigned you or you are doing no, it, but yes. a, according to some people, that you have been used by some people to, to, who are not best pleased. Uh, Everybody that is, be, say, that is saying that OCC is being used don't know me. I am on my own. I'm doing things like I want to do them. Nobody is using me. I'm not speaking to anyone. I'm not talking to anyone about this. I'm doing my campaign on my own and on my social media, on my Facebook account. So you, you, you mean the money that you purchase the t-shirts come from your pocket and yes. the printing also come from no the money that i purchased the t-shirts with is mine okay i did not even purchase these t-shirts sorry i got them for free but that is through me too who, who? through through a friend too that i need these t-shirts to print to print on on fatu babaro and then she was like yes he's also interested he's also a gambian lady you know who is so much interested on the on, on the development of gambian women at least anything that the first lady's office is doing should have impact on gambian women so this is this is a fight that we are all doing together. We are fighting corruption together. Are you following development? Because see, you look at the Fatou Barbaro Foundation. Mm. Recently, we have seen some at least some uh, developments, and even at the health sector, they brought in some nurses and so on. So, but you also mentioned about being the first lady mm -hmm. and being the mother of the nation. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you mean? Being the first lady of this nation. You know, we voted for change, Omar. We all know how Gambian women have been suffering under the under the, the last regime. This change, it's, it's close to two years. Until today, the first lady cannot tell you how our Gambian women are living there in the provinces. She has never for once engaged our women. I've not seen it anywhere. And I'm here in the Gambia. I've not seen her engage our rural women for once. So at least uh, taking $33 million is on our name because it's our name. She's, she's receiving money because she's, a Gambian, so she's the Gambian first lady. Nobody is sending me money. I'm not the first lady. She's receiving this money on our name. So at least it should have an impact on, 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 on our women. You talk about impact on the woman, but why a particular focus? Because we have seen the 57 vehicles here. You are not that much critical of the government. The 11 million donated to the people who went to Hajj. Exactly. So why is this? What is the difference? Because she is a woman, and I am a woman too. You know, my mothers there in the, in the provinces are women. I've just traveled to a village uh, two weeks ago. You know what happened, Omar? A woman that delivered a baby girl left the girl on the, on, on the bed, the baby on the bed. She has to travel four kilometers to get to access water. You know what happened? The rope, the rope that is, this rope that they pull from the well to access water, this rope pulled the woman inside the, the well. She died. Okay, that was which, the which, which, village, which village? Njolfen was village in Kiev. Okay. Yeah. So finally, uh, in the event that this thing did not yield any dividend, what will you do? The, the, the t shirts? Yeah. the Facebook post mm -hmm. and so on. Well, I'm not doing it like I, I, I have to have a name on this or whatever. I am doing it to let the people know that we've been robbed 35 million dollars for no reason. All right. Thank you so much, um, our Sise. That is uh, thank you, our Sise, an activist uh, who is campaigning for the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia to bring 
back the money allegedly deposit or money deposited in her account now i will cross now to the united states and on the line now i have coach pasamba jao coach can you hear me yes sir once again welcome to the fatu network news review thank you thank you so very much omar um, of recent, like you know, Barrow is the chattering of flight, the 72 seconds, and now the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs has issued a statement that uh, effective 1st October, they will put a temporal ban on all government funding trips. Now, which one do you want? Let's start with the 72 seconds. I know you are interested in that one. People are making fun of President Barrow when he made that statement at the United Nations General Assembly. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that, and uh, of course, it may sound funny, but yeah. I don't think it's as consequential as people make it to be. Mm -hmm. uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, uh, the President of the United States had a hard time uh, pronouncing anonymous, and in fact, he gave it too short <laughs> <laughs> and couldn't pronounce it. Yeah. And uh, those who followed uh, American politics in the early 2000s when George Bush was here, he also had a serious problem with uh, sometimes his speeches and stuff. Uh, in fact, there was a book that was written by Paul Bagala. It's called It's Our Children Learning. And that was a direct quote uh, from George Bush. Uh, but what, what, I, what I just want to uh, say to the president and appeal to the government officials is that, uh, because I've seen this happen at the Kairaba Beach Hotel. Yeah. When uh, there was a program, I was sitting there, they gave the minister of, uh, the former minister of sports, a speech to read. Mm -hmm. And the speech was given to him right before he read it. Because as I was sitting there, I was looking at him practicing his speech minutes before reading it. So maybe uh, the, speech, the speech writers of the president and all these people should prepare him, prepare him by giving him his speech before time so that at least he would practice it on the speech. That way he'll be uh, able to uh, give the, what you might call it, uh, the desired speech. But public speaking, I'm a public speaker. I speak in public sometimes. There is always the tendency that you'll make mistakes here and there. But at the end of the day, what is important is just uh, the recovery that you'll make and the uh, message that you, that you send out to the people. Now, let's talk about this, uh, the temporal ban on travels. What is your take? The Minister of Finance has issued a statement. I think, yeah, uh, like somebody, I just did a Facebook Live uh, a few days ago. And uh, my concern, like many others, was the uh, exorbitant amount of money that is being spent on travels by our government. And we raised the concerns because we believe that given our situation and where we came from and everything that we've been told, that what we expected was a government that would be responsible enough to put in place austerity measures where wastage would be a thing of the past. But what has happened here, I think, should be commended. I, I am very happy that the government uh, has really listened to the, the the concerns of the Gambian people because we raised our issues. We said we do not want this thing. And, and now they have come and say, listen, we are putting temporary uh, 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 measures in place where we are going to freeze all travels unless they are essential so as to be able to divert that money to where it ought to go. So to me, that is a commendable thing. And uh, to me, Omar, that shows one thing. If the citizens and the government work in concert, good things tend to happen. And what has happened here, uh, I just have to also give uh, uh, real credit to the National Assembly because they started this whole thing. Yeah. They were the ones who brought the minister there, questioned him about the travels, how much have been spent on travels. And this is how we all knew the 330 million or 230 million, whatever it is that you want to call it. That's how we knew that. And they, they, they were very adamant in asking for specifics. Why are we spending this much money? Is it nice? Now, of course, with Barrow's travel, it didn't help, you know, chartering a flight. But the citizens, you know, there was an uproar. Everybody in the country, in fact, those who support the president, some of his strongest supporters, we are not very happy about it. And to wake up today and see this is a great thing, but it should not stop there. Now, what I, I would uh, encourage the government is that they should do more to ensure that this thing will be a thing of the past. And I would also encourage the citizens to be a lot more vigilant to make sure that uh, this will not be something that will just be put in there because it looks good 
and not access open because uh omar i don't want to be cynical but we we all remember that there was a time when a, a bill was passed in the national assembly a travel ban yes not travel ban the vehicle policy yes vehicle policy Up to the day it has not been implemented it was a great thing everybody applauded so i'm just saying uh, let the government do what is right let the citizen uh, hold them to account and definitely the end result will be uh, a win win for all now, since this government took over, we have seen they will take certain decisions. When people uh, criticize them, they, they will rescind those decisions. Is it that, like many people said, the Facebook Republic uh, has very impact, uh, si a serious impact on the government of the Gambia? Whatever, if the government does A and the f people on fa or Facebook posts become heated and they will change that decision or they will take actions on certain matters. Well, to me, I would, I would call it uh, something positive because at least it shows a government that is listening to the concerns of the citizens. Because if the citizens are not happy with what is going on and make noise about it and the government realizes that maybe the concerns that are being raised are legitimate enough that we should rescind those decisions, that should be applauded. But what I also think the government also needs to do to avoid that is to look at issues critically because if there is one problem that this government has, I think it's a very disjointed government. Uh, and I would advise the president of the republic to ensure that they have regular cabinet meetings where most of these issues will be debated in cabinet. There was... Hello? Hello, coach. I think we lost Coach Pasa Majau there on the line from the United States. We're discussing about the, the press statement uh, issued by the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs that effective 1st of October, they will put a temporal ban on all government-funded travel trips, except the, those who are, are essential. I will try him once again. If he is not uh, available, then we'll move on with another development but uh, hello coach hello i am afraid uh, he is not available well this is where we will draw the court in for today um from me omar wali and my crew we thank you for your time till next week bye bye Even though I was a big oh, opponent okay. of this. Oh, okay. I have to come back again. Hello, Coach. Uh, yes. Omar, yes, I think I have a problem. Now? I nearly um, end the program. Okay. Let me, let me, let me ask you. Chinua Achebe said the problem of Af Nigeria is the leadership. It doesn't mean the president elected, but those who offer themselves for leadership. Who do you hold responsible for the problem of this country? When you talk, Gambians will be like, no, it is not Baro. It is the people who are surrounding him. Who is responsible for the problem of this country? Well, uh, in this instance, the box stops with Barrow. But let's also understand the situation that we are in. Like I was trying to explain the other day. If you look at uh, the First Republic, right. Gambians had the choice to choose their leaders because it was a free pro process. Okay. Then when Jambi came and imposed himself and rigged the process, it led to a big struggle, thus eventually leading to people deciding, you know what, we have only one option now, that is to get Jame out. And this brought about the coalition and that brought Barrow in. Now, the, 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 now we'll bring Barrow because he's the leader. The subsequent elections, well, it will be the people and the leadership, because then the people will also have the responsibility to vote in a party based on the policies and programs that they bring in place. So Nigeria, it might work there because of Nigeria has had... Uh, uh, periodic elections for a while in the Gambia, this is a new beginning. But I think uh, if Barrow does what is right, uh, and you know, the reason why I'm blaming Barrow, Omar, is that he is the one who surrounded those people with this thing with him. Right. He's the one who's taking people who work with Jamme and say that they were the best people around him and they are with him. So I hope that the president would realize listen, there is more. Well, I've lost coach again and. Um have a problem with the internet there the internet is fluctuating well viewers that's all we have for you today i will this time i will draw the court in here until next week inshallah so thank you so much for your time
పవర్ హలో హలో